Welcome to the Afternoon Update. I'm Ellie Petrusevich. New US President Joe Biden has sworn in his new White House staff with a stern warning. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. Just hours after inauguration, he signed 15 executive orders. They include America's return to the Paris Climate Accord, requiring face masks to be worn on federal properties and ending emergency funds to build the wall along the Mexican border. Meantime, Donald Trump and his family are now at their new Florida home after vacating the White House this morning and skipping the ceremony altogether. Greater Brisbane residents will be able to go mask-free at indoor venues from tomorrow with respect Restrictions set to ease from 1am. In South Australia, up to 200 people will be allowed at home gatherings from midnight tonight. It comes as there were no community transmission cases across the country today. Meantime, the UK has seen a new daily record of coronavirus deaths. More than 1,800 lives were lost to COVID within 28 days of a positive test result. Australia's unemployment rate has improved over the past month. The jobless rate for the nation is down to 6.6% from 6.8. Tourists have been told to leave WA's northwest as a tropical low tracks toward the Pilbara coast. Heavy rain and destructive winds are forecast around Port Hedland from tomorrow as the low is expected to develop into tropical cyclone Lucas. In sport now, world number one tennis player Novak Djokovic has written a letter to Australians saying comments he made about the demands for players in quarantine have been misconstrued. He says the email exchange was a brainstorm about potential improvements and he had good intentions for fellow competitors. And in cricket, Aussies Steve Smith, Nathan Coulter-Nile and James Pattinson have all been dropped by their IPL teams. To entertainment news, Tom Holland is reportedly in the frame to play Willy Wonka in a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory prequel. Warner Brothers is hoping the movie will be released in early 2023. Bad luck for Tiger King star Joe Exotic, who is hoping for a last-minute presidential pardon from Donald Trump. The former zoo owner was apparently so confident of being freed from prison, he even ordered a stretch limo to pick him up. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is the latest celebrity to get the coronavirus vaccine at a drive-thru at Dodgers Stadium in LA. Put that needle down. All done. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. All right, I just got my vaccine. And I will recommend it to anyone and everyone. Come with me if you want to live. That video posted to his social media this morning. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.